Let's start out with a warm greeting from me to you. What's happening? What is up? It's Sip Sip Tuesday. Sip Tuesday. Grab your sip to sip with me on the Sip Sip Tuesday. That was excessively lean. I don't really know what the heck I'm going to talk about today. Actually, no. That is not entirely true because I know of one thing I'm going to talk about today and that's, you'll find out or not. But first, let me tell you what I got to sip on today on this Sip Sip Tuesday. I got this. I know this is super random and I don't know if you guys are into this, but I love root beer. That is my top number one favorite soda because it's a tie between cream soda and root beer but this is root beer kombucha i don't know if you guys like kombucha that's what i was trying to say i don't know if you guys are into kombucha i love kombucha i love trying all different types of kombucha and so like every time i see a new one in the store i'm like ah. so i got this one at sprouts i've seen it i was like wait a minute am i seeing this correctly follow my logs because then you get to see when these things happen most of the time but anyways that's when i got it i got it recently and i was like well, i'm gonna drink it right away but i was like no i'm gonna save it for my sip sip tuesday but anyways this is black kombucha sparkling probiotic tea root beer and now it's sweetened with monk fruit packed with probiotics. Awesome. I'm excited to try this. I have a twist up top right here. So let's go ahead and pop the top off. We'll twist it. Ooh, yeah, bubble left on me. Look at that little smoke. Ooh, it's so cool. Mm. Like, not what I thought it was gonna be. Mm. It's like, oh, I'm a little upset. It's like flat soda with that root beer taste. Like it's flat root beer, but like healthy root beer, but that doesn't have any sugar. So it's like mixed with kombucha taste. Not a lot of sugar. I thought it was gonna taste different. I don't know why, but gonna drink it because it has probiotics. Let's get into this topic. So I just literally Googled LGBTQ news today. All right, so New York bans controversial gay therapy conversion. How am I supposed to drink this if the top is on it? Silly. This is the second drink that I'm not liking in the Sip Sip Tuesday. I'm gonna stick to making myself some stuff. The state legislature also passes bill allowing offenses motivated by biases on gender identity and expression to be prosecuted as a hate crime. This is from the independent.co.uk, by the way. <laughs> I rhymed again. The New York State Legislature has passed a bill prohibiting licensed mental health professionals from conducting gay conversion therapy on children. Good, I'm glad, I'm glad. That's just, I don't, this, I, it just breaks my heart. Like, oh, mm. New York has a reputation for diversity and inclusion. I love that New York. Freaking amazing. Let me put this down. I need to give you a clap. And also, all of the other states that are very inclusive. The assembly majority is committed to maintaining the reputation and protecting the rights of others. I love that. This is what New York State Assembly Speaker Carl Heasty, a Democrat, says in a statement. Everyone has a right to live their life free from hostility and exclusions, and our youth deserve support in discovering their identity in a way that promotes happiness and positive mental health. I think that is so beautiful to see others coming together, especially states, a group of people coming together and taking a stand and being like, no, we want to help the children of today. Anyone else, not just children, but anyone who is suffering who is trying to figure out and discovering themselves and trying to take the next steps to just live freely and happily and to help them live their life free from this hostility. I think these words were so nicely put and I wish I could talk more like that. I need to implement these into my vocabulary. Kombucha, will you help me please strengthen my little brain, brain I don't know what that means. I don't, you know, my little things, my, the parts of my brain that will help me take, soak up this, these vocabulary words and implement them into my everyday life. answer was to that. It's answer was to that. I think it's amazing. I think I just love hearing stuff like this. I seriously do. What else is there? What? Okay, let's see this. This one says NYC lawmaker says city council controlled by homosexuality. Let's see. The remarks by council member Ruben Diaz Sr. quickly drew outrage, including a call for an apology by the openly gay NYC council speaker Corey Johnson. This is on NBCnews.com. All right, let's see. New York, the speaker of the New York City. Oh wait, I forgot to take a drink of my kombucha root beer flat ass soda. It's probably not even soda, it's kombucha. Okay. New York, the speaker of the New York City Council is demanding an apology from a council member who said the legislative body is controlled by a homosexual community. How dare you? I have no idea what this is about yet. Let me read on. A spokesman for Speaker Corey Johnson issued a statement Friday saying comments by Ruben Diaz have no place in New York City and the Bronx Democrat should apologize to his colleagues and the LGBTQ community. Is this you? Is this you, Corey? Who is the good guy here? Who is the one who spoke out? Oh, this is Ruben Diaz. Is this Ruben Diaz? I think that is Ruben Diaz. I don't really know. In a Spanish language radio program Diaz who is a Pentecostal minister said the homosexual community controls most of the 51% council members. A Puerto Rican Puerto Rican born politician who opposes same sex marriage called Johnson a homosexual married to another man. The speaker is openly gay and single. Jeez like where does this hostility come from? Can you just imagine that them being in the room be like he's 
you are a homosexual married to another man. That'll get him. Like, what? What? The younger Diaz took to social media Saturday night, advocating for unity and calling his father's statement unnecessary. Oh, 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 so Diaz Jr. came up and was like, yo, look, listen up, dad. Listen up, dad. Let me show you how it was done, okay? That statement was unnecessary. NYC is a place where we celebrate our diversity and inclusivity. <laughs> Man, who it must have been your mama teaching you, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I don't really know. Maybe it was Abuelita that taught you and it was like, yes, this is mi hijo. Mi hijo, tienes que amar a todos. A todos. Ah, look, your gut will thank you. I was talking about my gut earlier. There's a little thingy on here. It's wrong and organic, by the way. The LGBTQ community is un- oh, Here's a hard ass word that I'm probably not gonna be able to say it correctly. I'm gonna have to Google this, so I'm gonna just- Unequivocally. Oh, I think I said it. Maybe I said that wrong, I'm not so sure. I'm not even gonna try to say it again. An essential voice in our city. A Rev Ruben Diaz's Sentiments are antagonist. There's another one. Quarrelsome and wholly unnecessary. He should apologize. Wow, I like that. Oh, then Father Diaz Sr. said, Oh, sure, I think I made a mistake here. My son's calling me out. He did later tweet, He misspoke by referring to Johnson as being married. He's still single, he wrote. What? Where is your accountability for what you said earlier for the discrimination and the hostility in your words? Huh? You just said I misspoke, he's single? And he's like, oh, oh, wait. I misspoke, he's single, but I don't take back that he's a homosexual. That is not, he's a single. He also tweeted a question on Saturday. What's homophobic about saying that the gay community controls the NYC city council? I'm giving them credit for the power and influence they had. I think it's just more of how you said it. I think the connotation and the context behind it and the way you said it, I think maybe that's where people are bringing it up to light or talking about it. Some people are be like, well, there's no need for him to even apologize. Like, okay, cool. Like, that's your belief. You know what I mean? That's your opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. I think that maybe that would have... I don't know, change something. Definitely the way that it was said probably has a lot to do with that. It definitely is a big thing how you say things. You could have easily gave them props and show that you were giving them props rather than choose the words that you've said that now makes it seem homophobic. To see that his son called him out on it and, and said this and stood up for it. Now, obviously we don't know if he's really just saying it to look good or what. I hope not. No matter what, I think it was a good step to say it and to bring that to light. And it's always good to see younger generations helping out the older generations or somebody in the same family like trying to help them them see these issues and these topics at hand, especially when you're part of a city council, especially when you have the position that you do. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't change, at least you try. People are going to believe what they want to believe. They're going to feel what they want to feel. People are going to do what they want to do. So I just think it's it's best to just respect it, you know what I mean? And when it gets to that point of very, very disrespectful and that level of respect is not reciprocated, you have a choice to fight back or just walk away. Everybody's going to be different and I don't know, I just kind of just say, you know, just respect the opinions of others and if they're constantly hounding you about something or they're disrespecting you and they're not giving you the same respect then it's up to you what to decide what to do if somebody wants to live with all this poison in their heart there's not much you can do they're at their full right to to live that way or not but um it's growing on me like a little bit but i think that's just my taste buds like knocked out uh, i forgot what i was saying i was on this hype of something but then anyway i was running out of space but nonetheless if you're dealing with an idiot individual, if you're dealing with somebody who's just not with it, you know, that was my dog who just bumped into the tiki. <laughs> she just literally bumped into the tripod. You all right, Titi? She just didn't even look at me. She just turned around. She's trying to lay in the sun. That's why she's right there by the tripod. But yeah, so if you're dealing with somebody who's just very ignorant and just isn't with it, then you know, they ain't with it. You can try and get them to see it through a different perspective and share your feelings and your emotions and how you see things with them. But if you just cannot get them to see it, that is okay. I think you want to sit here. <laughs> you know, that is also that you're smelling the kombucha on my breath. Yeah, it smells like root beer, like healthy, ex super healthier on a diet kind of root beer. If it does, <laughs> sorry. Like they say, you can lead the horse to the water, but you cannot make the horse drink the water. So I'm not calling anybody in your life a horse or anybody a horse or any other kind of animal. But I'm just saying it makes so much sense and you can try and try and try, but if it just doesn't work out, if they just don't want to see it for themselves, what can you do? The only thing you can get out of that is to say, at least I tried, at least I did what I could. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it don't. But don't beat yourself up over that. I know I went off on a little tangent, but I just felt the need to say that from my heart to your eyes and your ears. Is that weird? Probably. And, but I, hey, I rhymed. From your eyes to your ears, baby, ain't that weird, baby? That is weird. Okay. But with that being said, I want to say thank you for joining me for Sip Sip Tuesday, brought to you by Root Beer Kombucha. Your gut will thank you, but your taste buds won't. All right, enough of me talking. I'm gonna end this here.
Then I finish this. I also look like a grandma. Okay, it, it, it was definitely giving me energy. Can we just supposed to give me energy? And it definitely has given me more energy. And I'm also, okay. Anyway, anyway, thank you so much for clicking play on this video. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you for sipping on something while you're watching the Sip Sip Tuesday, while you're watching me sip on my sip or Sip Sip Tuesday. I hope that you're having a better day. And also, thank you so much if you're just eating while I'm sipping or sipping and eating. Thank you for joining me regardless. If you, even if you're not sipping on anything or you're just literally just watching there, you're laying in bed. I hope that you come back for the next Sip Sip Tuesday. I hope that you come back for the next video. Now, 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 before I go, if you are not following me on my social videos already they're on the screen and down below if you want to check them out if you want to see me in real time if you do like what you see i invite you to follow me please and thank you and if you already follow me high five freaking awesome thank you thank you so much i'll see you in the next video and remember if there's one thing that i want to call to mind there are actually three no matter the highs and lows always be sure always be certain to do good be grateful and stay humble